Okay guys, I just wanted to make a quick video that demonstrates uh, why people who anneal to a, to a specific color um, are, are probably shooting themselves in the foot. Because really, the color has more to do with the oxidation that's already present on the, on the cartridge than it does. So with this brass, it's super clean, the stuff that I'm running right now. And you can see as it comes out of here, there's almost no discoloration at all, even though it is being annealed. It's been verified with a, a laser pyrometer and Tempolac. Um, so I know that my settings are exactly where they're supposed to be with this, but you can see, if you look closely, you have to look really closely to see any kind of color change at all right there along the case shoulder. The rest of it's pretty consistent. That's because it was soaking to begin with. There wasn't really any oxidization on the surface um, to cause any discoloration. So to show you for comparison, this one's pretty shiny, um, but you can see if we compare it to another one of these. These ones are a little bit more tarnished. They've been sitting for a few days. Um, this lower one is one of the high polish ones. Um, and I'm just going to take this guy and hand load it in. I see it won't do any cutaway, but uh, once we get an opening here. This guy, you can see it's not been annealed at all yet. See these other ones that are coming out still perfectly shiny. Let's see, that's still going to be this guy right here. So we've got one more to go before we get the slightly tarnished one. Uh, and you'll see that there will be a, a much darker band on this, even though they all run at the same exact settings through this, through this annealer, same temperature. So you can see it already changing. And then right there, that's the one that just dropped out. I, you can see another one that I did earlier, kind of as a test. It would be this one right here, and this one that dropped out. See the ones that dropped out just immediately? Immediately after. So if you're going by color, every time you anneal rather than temperature, you're not going to get consistent results, because even though these ones don't show any coloration at all, they're all done correctly. And I can demonstrate even over annealing, how you can over anneal a case and not know it. Um, I'll probably have to do a different video on that one because I'm going to go ahead and run this little video. I don't want to over anneal a case ending up in this batch. But uh, I'll try and get a video up demonstrating that same anomaly. Color means absolutely nothing when it comes to annealing. You've got to do it based on, on verified temperatures with either, uh, like I said, a, a laser thermometer, pyrometer, or um, Tempolac, some sort of a temperature changing lacquer, temp sticks, uh, some people use, but it's got to be done with, with some sort of a, a consistently uh, verifiable system. Otherwise, you're just guessing, and, and you may be ruining brass, you may be under annealing, um, you may even be creating a, a dangerous situation where you're over annealing. Um, so that's why, that's why you got to set it up right.